What is this? Well, I want us to start off on a good foot. Ten million dollars? I can't handle this. It's so much money. I can't. And it's too much money. In relationship to what you've had, it's a lot. In the larger scheme of things, it's nothing. No, but I haven't earned any of this money. Carol is a character who really wants to do good things, and she finally gets her chance. Um unwittingly to save the world. At her core, she's a really good person who's trying to be even better. She went on to become a big shot at Yahoo. So Carol, tell us, what have you been up to? Last few years, I've been uh, working with quite a few different nonprofit groups. Nothing really came out of it, but made a lot of great friends. She gave up her job because she thought, maybe I can do something that puts more good into the world and is doing all the things you should do, but really isn't moving the needle. And I think she's got some regrets about her love life and feels that she may have made mistakes but doesn't know how to rectify them. She doesn't know how to move forward and so she's just in this kind of rut. I'm looking at you right now and you're literally the most average person on earth. And then she discovers one day that there's a super intelligence that has proposed to her that the only way that he will not destroy the world is if she can prove to this super intelligence that there's still hope in the world. And I love that she is the one that's picked. She's earnest enough to walk away from money and a career just to try to make things better. If someone was being watched to see if the world's worth living, that's a pretty good person for. Why did you leave your career eight years ago? I just thought maybe I could put a little good in the world, do something that, that counted, that helped people. She has a good thing going with a guy named George. Like many of us, she puts it on the back burner because she feels like there are things that she needs to accomplish first before she can progress. Here we go. That's a good looking hunk of man. Yeah. They had a good thing and she kind of overthought it a bit and didn't feel like she was in the right place. That happens so much in relationships. Why did you break up? I mean. I've read all the emails and texts during the split. Very sad. It's my fault. He didn't do anything. These two characters of George and Carol, you see and feel that they had this great love and it's probably still there. It just got messed up a little. So the AI, what it decides to do is it really wants to see what would happen if she got back together with George, because that would be a really interesting thing for it to get to study. Observing your reconciliation with George would help me achieve deeper levels of human understanding. It's looking at her for three days and it basically wants to give her all these things to see if that helps her get back with George, into the superintelligence's mind, it does. Did you steal this car? You bought it, it's in your name. I bought it? What? You own a really cool car. Unfortunately, you still dress like a woman who works at a bird rescue. The SI can only reflect what it's learned from people. That's it. So it's looking on social media, which is terrifying. It's looking at all these different devices for what is important to people. Oh my, you really do need our help. Desperately. He dresses Carol in more expensive clothing, gives her this expensive car, thinking, now you're happy. Your body. I'm just getting a little bit panicky because I can't access my own hands. Well, I think the super intelligence would think that money would buy happiness because if you observed human life for but a moment, I think that's quite a popular feeling amongst people. I don't think it's true. This is your new house. Oh my God, did you buy me a house here? If you consider a penthouse a house, then yes. I do. I think it's a fact that money will not make you happy, but it will pay for the search. My dad used to say, money won't make you happy, but it'll allow you to pull up alongside happiness in a really big yacht. <laughs> when did you do all of this? Today, I will say this about you humans, with enough motivation and money, you can do just about anything in a couple of hours. What it needs to learn and what she can teach the super intelligence is, I look different than I used to look. I seem to be a little bit more successful than I used to be. That's not why George wants me back in his life. He wants me back in his life because I make him laugh and because I'm a fun person to be around and because we have a bond that is incredibly hard to describe. I don't need any of this. But won't the apartment and the money and the clothes make you more attractive to George? No, the George I remember, he doesn't care about fancy apartments or expensive shoes. I don't quite understand. It is a reminder we need to stay tethered to our humanity and advances are great, but so are people. <laughs> like, let's not sell one out for the other. Pick up your phone, Carol. Leave me alone! $1,000 to pick up your phone, Carol. <laughs>